Hi everyone, I truly believe that you would agree with me that if we cannot breathe, nothing else matters. And I don't want to be dramatic here. For the purpose of the video, I actually want to bring more joy, fun tool to your life, to your family, so you can do an exercise from the comfort of your home that will bring more stability, more physical strength, and emotional balance. This is exactly what breath can do. It's a powerful tool that we underestimate, we take for granted, and we do not pay attention to. But if we breathe correctly, and if we learn how to use it to strengthen our respiratory system, it's the best tool we can use against this virus. So I truly invite you to do this exercise with me. So when the virus knocks to your door, which I hope it will not happen, but if it does, you're prepared and you know how to face it. Listen, this exercise, um, I came across this exercise in 2016. I was going through very challenging time in my life. I lost my mom. My breath was taken away from me. I felt like somebody ripped it from my rib cage and I couldn't breathe. I was one of the fast, shallow breathers. <gasps> it was even probably panic attack, but then there was a time when I was breathing this way. <laughs> it's the worst, worst way you can breathe because you do not have proper oxygen uptake. You do not deliver oxygen to your brain and the rest of your body. Shallow breathers also have worse circulation they do not sleep well and they suppress their immune system. And now it's not the time to become weaker. Now it's the time to become stronger, right? So here's what PRI does. They use the balloon to make sure that the air during inhale of the breathing exercise goes to the right side of the front of your chest and to the back of your ribs, because I believe a lot of us don't even pay attention to how our lower ribs should function, front, side, and back. The air should really expand them. And a lot of us do not have a proper movement in our ribs. So I hope this exercise will help you to identify what's actually taking and not taking place in your body, okay? So here's what should happen. Inhale through a nose, exhale, you will blow the balloon. On the exhale, as you blow the balloon, you should be in a position shifted to the left side. So you stabilize the left deep core muscle, your transverse abdominis and your internal obliques. You will stabilize, compress this while you decompress the right side that we abuse on a daily basis. And when you inhale through the nose, you will still be in this position the air will have nowhere else to go but to the places that it's needed. Now, it sounds very easy, but you will see that the inhale phase is very challenging. So, you will also stick the tongue and stick to the uh, top of your roof of your mouth on the front teeth uh, to relax your neck muscles and to make sure that there is a proper pressure in your cranium. Now, this will prevent from air to going back to your throat, which will most likely happen in those who do not pay attention to the inhale. And you will be surprised how many of you will try to compensate by biting the balloon, by pinching it down, or exactly by doing this. That's why you need to stick the tongue up to the roof of your mouth to prevent this from happening. But even if you will do it, you will see how challenging it might be for you to stay in this left shifted position, engaging the left deep core muscles and allowing the right side to decompress. Okay, so let me do it first. And then of course you will have a plenty of a time to do it yourself. But here's how it should look like. Inhale through your nose.
I hope you could see it, what's supposed to take place. Listen, do I have a room for improvement? Absolutely, each one of us does. But it helps you to focus on what should happen on the exhale, how powerful your diaphragm can be, and what should happen on the inhale, and how nicely it should happen through your nose, not through your mouth. So, of course, there could be a lot of fun time with this. And I bet your kids will, your kids will make all kinds of fun uh, situations out of this. It can really be fun to focus on the most important things in our life. It doesn't have to be done dramatically. I truly believe if things are taught, especially kids in a fun way, it's usually staying with them for a long time and they remember it and they wanna do it because it's more fun, right? Not painful. But if it's too much for them, there are other tools you could use that would allow them to work their breath. But if you are an adult, you can absolutely use it. So listen, without going any further, I hope that this fun exercise will be performed by you in the comfort of your own home, with your kids or with your significant other. Share your funny stories, maybe post you know, your videos. I know that there are other exercises. Listen, you don't have to do this one, but I hope that this short video helped you to understand how you can take your health into your hands right now during this challenging time. And I know we have a lot of time on our hands. So use the time effectively for something that can strengthen you physically and emotionally. With that being said, remember, we think is here to help you live healthier life. And I look forward to connecting with you soon.